So a couple of weeks ago, we got confirmation that at the end of March, the last episode of Dragon Ball Super is going to be airing, and that starting in April, the time slot will be filled by another anime. Now, when that announcement was made, a lot of people were obviously in denial, and I was trying to convince them, you know, hey, don't shoot the messenger, but this is really something that's happening. And as of right now, like as I'm recording this video, we don't have any sort of information on when Dragon Ball Super will return, if Super will return. As far as we know, the series is ending, you know, this coming March, and there's no plans for it to come back. However, there are chances that it will come back based on the popularity of Dragon Ball, based on the fact that Dragon Ball is set to make millions this year, and we know that Toei Animation is going to be shifting their focus over to producing the Dragon Ball movie coming out in 2018, and there's been a lot of really good promise with the film because they're going to be outsourcing to a Japanese-French animation studio to help them out, so they're really going to put a lot of good work into this film, and it's probably going to be the best-looking Dragon Ball movie. Whether or not it'll be a good movie, though, that remains to be seen, but we know that's going to at least look good and be beautiful and well, I'm sure we'll all have a good time watching it whenever it does come out. But they're going to be shifting over to the movie. But one of the discussion points that had come up for the past couple of weeks that I was going to do a video on. And I'm doing a quick little video here just to kind of dump out my thoughts. I didn't really write anything down. No notes or no script or anything. Is people have been asking, how is Super going to end? And we're going to be speculating about this for quite some time in the next few weeks. And we may get some spoilers on those episodes soon anyway. So we might know. But for right now, the discussion is, how is Super going to end? Now, over on Twitter, I remember Rhyme Style made a tweet, which was just meant to be a joke about how he believes that, you know, Dragon Ball Super, and again, this is just a joke, that wouldn't it be funny if Super ended with Zeno deleting Universe 7, and that was going to be the cliffhanger. So what I want to discuss is, first of all, that, because whenever one of us says something, you know, and that's why I think it's very important to have a lot of responsibility as a content creator because even though Dino was just joking, right, people took that as gospel and that's definitely not the case. They took it as, oh, uh, maybe that will happen. And like I said, it was just a joke, but people tend to take things seriously and they start wondering and then your brain starts racing. You're like, well, what if they do that? So I want to discuss the idea of Dragon Ball Super having a cliffhanger ending. Now, um, one thing I want to clarify, again, I've clarified it several times, but I still have to say it, is that nowhere in any of the uh, interviews, in any of the promotional announcements, have they said that this is a hiatus. This is not like Dragon Ball Super is taking a season break, you know, like a lot of other shows do, not just anime, but just overall TV shows. And it's not stated anywhere that Super is going to be taking any sort of break or any of that and possibly coming back, you know, in the fall. Super may come back next year, or a different Dragon Ball anime might premiere with a different name. In fact, not only is that plausible, I would say, I would even go so far as to say it's likely. In fact, from a business perspective, it's very likely because Dragon Ball is extremely popular all throughout the world. For one, the popularity and the financial gain that Toei has from this property, as well as Bandai and Shueisha, is a big reason as to why Super being on television to help promote other things like movies if they go that route or like other video games is very important. That's a big reason as to why Super, or not Super, but Dragon Ball. I, I don't want to say Super because it might not even be called Super. It might be a different show altogether, different name, different time period. It could be after the end of Z. We don't know. But the point is that the idea of Dragon Ball coming back makes sense. And we know that from day one, there have been tons of production problems with Dragon Ball Super. It's been a nightmare behind the scenes to produce this show. Anime AJ, and I think Masako X also brought it up, uh, the fact that them taking a break, and I'm not going to say it's an official break, but them taking Super off the air will give Japan a chance to kind of assemble their things together and kind of, you know come in and maybe if they do bring the series back or have a new series they'll be more focused this time and it won't fall apart because the problem with Dragon Ball is that they've got the Kitaro anime coming out and they've got One Piece and One Piece just cannot end because it's a continuing manga and they're number one you know anime and Kitaro is huge in Japan so the idea of Toei's animation staff and production staff working on Super Kitaro and One Piece as well as the other stuff that they have that I haven't even brought up seems to be kind of rough with all the problems that Super had so the idea is that one kind of had to go and so they said okay 
let's shelve Super and work on the movie, right? So the idea of Super coming back makes sense for that reason. Another reason I want to bring up is that in 2020, Goku is one of many anime characters that's supposed to be part of the promotion for the 2020 Summer Olympic Games. And thus, it would make logical sense for Dragon Ball to have a TV series during that time. So the idea of Dragon Ball coming back soon is definitely one that makes a lot of sense but does that mean that super is going to be ending on a cliffhanger i don't think it will and i'll tell you why even though super ending on a cliffhanger would be the smartest and greatest thing toei could ever do because of several reasons number one it's going to get all of us talking number two it's going to be a completely unexpected move and one that people are not going to be expecting i know i just said unexpected not expecting same thing i know i repeated myself whatever i do that i'm not scripting this you know i think that would be great and i think if it did happen it would absolutely cement that the story will continue whether it be in the movie or whether it be in a series coming up next year i don't think it's going to come back this year i've already said that before uh, i think if, they, if it does come back it'll be next year january april or july but I don't think it's going to end the cliffhanger, and I'm going to outline the reasons why I don't think so. Number one, Toyotaro himself said that Dragon Ball Super is not going to write over the end of Z. Goku going to meet Oob at the end of Dragon Ball Z and at the end of the manga and the introduction of Pan, you know, as a little kid and all that, that's not going to get written over. That's still part of the main continuity. That's the way things are, okay? And that tells me that Super's probably going to end with sometime right before that with Goku maybe putting on his blue gi, his blue and white gi that he wore at the end of Z, and maybe talking about, hey, there's a tournament coming up, and that's how the series is going to end. And the reason why I think that Dragon Ball Super will have some kind of finality to it is because, well, like I said, there's no announcement of another series coming. We know a movie's coming, and if they want to go into that movie, yes, there could be a cliffhanger there, but I don't believe that's the case. I believe the movie will be a separate story. Don't know if it'll be before the end of Z or after the end of Z. I can't answer that question for you, but I think the movie will have a separate story. And actually, I'm going to be doing a video sometime in April where I'm going to give you my idea for the movie. I think y'all will enjoy that one when I drop that. I'm still kind of writing it, though. But I think it'll have finality because with the passing of Hiromi Sudu and the fact that Masako Nozawa is getting up there in age... Having the series end in a cliffhanger and then heaven forbid something happening to one of the voice actors, whether it be Nozawa or somebody else, to where they can't come back and reprise their role. Goku and Vegeta, of course, being the two most important characters in Super right now, I think would be catastrophic to the series. And I think that the idea is let's wrap up the series right now. Let's close it. And we can always come back to it later because remember, the end of Z ends with Goku and Oob going off the train. Their adventures can, of course, still be told. And, you know, GT went in one direction, but Super's pretty much effectively erased GT completely um, in some ways. But, you know, I think that that is one main factor. That they don't want to have the possibility of something like that happening. Then they can't really come back and pay off that cliffhanger. If you're going to have a cliffhanger, you have to pay it off at some point. And I think them not paying it off would be bad. And that's the second reason. You know, the first one being they never said it was going to be a hiatus. And the second being that. The third reason is that the way that it works with the anime industry is that shonen shows only continue to succeed depending on how much money they make. Now, I believe the 2018 Dragon Ball movie is going to make a lot of money. All of the Dragon Ball movies have done pretty well, especially Battle of Gods and Resurrection F. This one I see being no different. However, should the movie tank? I don't think it will. But should it tank or should it not meet expectations? They can just say, well, we tried bringing Dragon Ball back. We had a TV series. We had a manga. And that's pretty much going to be it. And that is possible. So I think with Toei, they're going to wrap up Dragon Ball Super in a nice ending. And maybe later on say, okay, we've got these new characters. We've got Jiren. We've got Zeno. We've got the Grand Priest, Beerus Weiss. Let's just use these later on. Let's put them on the shelf then we can use them later on. I think that makes the most logical sense. I've seen some people say that Super's ending to allow the manga to catch up. Um, that is not the case at all. The manga is completely independent of the anime, even though Toyotaro does work on both. However, Super ending does certainly give Toyotaro 
a chance to finish up the manga or at least finish up this arc. And I know some people have been asking, and this is a very frequently asked question, they've been asking, well, is the manga going to go to the end of Z or go past it? And I do not have an answer for you. Somebody asked Toyotaro on Twitter about that, and he said he could not comment on it. So that pretty much means that either he signed an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, to where he can't reveal the information, or he doesn't want to reveal the information, or he does not know. Either way, he's not talking. So... The future of Dragon Ball does still appear to be bright, but I don't think Dragon Ball Super is going to end in a cliffhanger. I don't see it happening. I think Toei's going to play it safe here. And like I said, they've already got enough characters and enough storylines that could be played up on. But they can always come back. I mean, Goku still has not been able to surpass the Angels. That may be a tier he may want to get to if they want to go there with that storyline. There's other unraveled storylines, like whatever happened to Trunks when he went to the future. Like, I know some fans are curious about that. Like, what happened? What happened to Trunks and Mai? Did they live happily ever after? Was there another threat? Did they have a kid? There's a lot of little story threads that Dragon Ball Super has not wrapped up yet that I think, you know, aren't major parts of the story, but I think they're still important enough that they can use that to come back and tell more Dragon Ball stories. But I don't think it's going to end in a cliffhanger. I, don't, I do not see... Zeno destroying Universe 7 because we know they survive at the end of Z. We know this. So if he does destroy Universe 7, it'll be brought back right away by Jiren or Topo or whoever makes the wish. Um, I don't see it happening. I, I don't see it being a cliffhanger ending. I think it'll be a nice ending, but I think they're still going to leave some things open to come back with later on. And even if it's not a new series, maybe new movies and whatnot. But that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Curious to hear your thoughts on Super ending in a cliffhanger. I just don't see it happening. I don't see that happening at all. But like I said, there might be some unraveled storylines that may get paid off later. Thank you so much for hearing me ramble here about the future of the series. Hope you enjoyed the ramble. I want to hear your rambles in the comments. And I hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.